Pompeo assails Iranian leaders as hypocritical holy men. US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo blasted Iran's ruling elite and its religious leaders for using their positions to line their pockets with riches, while the average person cries out for jobs, reform and opportunity. Pompeo, on July 22nd, called Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and other Islamic religious leaders in the theocratic government hypocritical holy men and pointed out officials who had amassed hundreds of millions of dollars of wealth from their positions. He said that the accumulation of wealth among leaders and the corruption of the violent government indicated that Iran is something that resembles the mafia more than a government. He added that the regime in Iran has been a nightmare for the Iranian people. Iran leader backs suggestion to block Gulf oil exports if own sales stopped. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei on Saturday backed President Hassan Rouhani's suggestion that Iran may block Gulf oil exports if its own exports are stopped and said negotiations with the United States would be an obvious mistake. Rouhani's apparent threat earlier this month to disrupt oil shipments from neighbouring countries came in reaction to looming US sanctions and efforts by Washington to force all countries to stop buying Iranian oil. Khamenei said remarks by the President that if Iran's oil is not exported, no regional country's oil will be exported were important remarks that reflect the policy and the approach of Iran's system, according to his official website. Mass protest by retirees in front of Magis. Chants of imprisoned teachers must be freed. On Sunday, July 22nd, a large crowd of retired educators and other retirees who came from different cities to Tehran rallied in front of the regime's parliament to protest their demands. In addition to retirees, Educators from the literacy movement attended this gathering to protest their low salaries and dire livelihood status. Hundreds of agricultural insurance experts, who are barred from employment after 14 years of service, were also among the protesters. People of Farajan protest against power failure and lack of drinking water. On Sunday, July 22nd, the brave people of Farajan, southern Iran, protested against the lack of drinking water and clashed with the repressive forces that were trying to disperse them. They expressed their outrage by setting tyres on fire on the Barajan Busher Road. In the extreme heat of the region, the people of Barajan are deprived of drinking water and they live under very dire conditions due to power failure. Iran hit by a series of earthquakes, 150 people injured. A magnitude 5.9 earthquake has hit western Iran, injuring about 150 people, hours after two quakes struck Hamazgan province in the south, Iranian media reported on July 22nd. Pihozain Kolivand, the head of Iran's Emergency and National Disasters Agency, told state television that at least 146 people were injured in the larger quake in western Iran, near the border with Iraq in Kamanshah province. 